building your dream home, the discussions are often centred around location, architecture, building materials, construction and design. However, planning for climatic change and extreme weather events is becoming more critical. Today we're going to visit a stunning property that did just that. Nuwana and Jared, thank you so much for inviting me to your beautiful home. I have to say the views are absolutely stunning. Looking at the home first off, it seems like there must be a bit of a story behind this home. Did it always look as beautiful as this? It didn't always look at, as beautiful as this, Rosh. But firstly, welcome to beautiful Terranora and um, lovely, lovely Tweed Shire. There is a story here. My great aunt, Eileen Tierney, moved to Terranora in the 50s. And so both my mum and I have had the privilege of coming up here for a long time and it's a magical place. Um, we really fell in love with it and we're really, really, you know, fortunate to be able to live here and build a really beautiful home here. It didn't look like this when we bought it, so this is a really major renovation. It was a big, solid, double brick, yellow block. We used to, for fun, call it the cheese block. And we've, you know, turned it into what I'm calling a beautiful coastal farmhouse. But I have to ask you, Jared. I mean, the home is huge. Your energy bill must have been monstrous when you first built it. Yeah, it's, um, when you're looking at seven bedrooms, four bathrooms, a pool, we're off grid here, so all septic systems run off the power from the basic of the house. So we're all looking at probably close to $1,000 a quarter. It's a, it's a big bill, okay? And that's the reason why we really started to look at, you know, we've got to you know, look at a decent solar system, batteries, everything to take care of that. And that's been a, a great move for us because now we, we can basically, we're energy neutral, actually putting power back into the grid, but also we're now set up for EVs and everything. So it's been a really fantastic move and the, the battery system is, is awesome. solar power on this home when you first purchased it. You obviously did a, well, it's almost pretty much a rebuild as opposed to renovation. You added another solar system and then we had a cyclone hit. Can you talk me through what happened? We built the house, we actually put in uh, what we thought was an off-grid uh, battery system and then the, the cyclone hit. But what we found is that the, the battery system downstairs wasn't off-grid capable. So as soon as we lost power, we thought that would kick in and it didn't. I got involved in this project through a call from Anchor Solix. We're one of their premium installers in Australia. And the customers have been looking at a battery solution that would actually suit their needs. Is they had a previous solution that didn't meet their needs in a blackout. They had the idea of batteries, but uh, no benefit of batteries it turned out. And we see that it can be quite common, is systems not installed correctly, not set up for blackout protection, and just not doing what they should do. So customers looked at another solution. They looked on Energy Matters website and settled on Anchor Solix as a fantastic product. It's a beautiful product, fantastic uh, engineering and ideal solution. Yeah, solar and batteries as a combination together are becoming very popular. As the price of batteries have come down, the lifespan has increased and feed-in tariff prices have reduced whilst retail electricity prices have increased. The timing for batteries is now. It's going to be almost commonplace for every system to have a battery in the coming years. So we chose the Anker Solix X1 Hybrid 3-Phase with a 20 kilowatt battery system because of the high energy demands of the house. The Anker Solix X1 um, can withstand extreme weather conditions. It can perform very well from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. We know that in Australia it doesn't get that cold any time, but it does get really hot, especially in summertime. So additionally, the X1 has the highest anti-corrosion rating in the market. That means that it can be installed close to the beaches. We know that in Australia, most infrastructure is built around the coastal areas and that way we can install without any risk of salty air damaging the product. The system will power the house during the day but at night or during a rainy or cloudy day it will 
kick in and start powering the house from the battery. We know that Australia was hit by a cyclone recently. The backup power comes really handy in these situations. What does the solution mean uh, on a daily basis for a family? I will say that it's peace of mind. You are protected, you are reducing your energy bills, which don't seem to stop increasing, and you're being more sustainable. Well, it's incredibly inspiring what you've done on this property. It looks magnificent, it's carbon positive, it's sustainable. You've done an incredible job. Thank you so much for showing me around today. I've had an amazing time.